What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jimmy Miller. If you don't know, just in case you needed a reminder, this is my YouTube channel where I make reaction videos to all the dance videos out there on YouTube. And guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I am super duper amped for this video. So first of all, before I get lost and wrapped up in the content and talking about what's, what's about to happen, I wanna talk, uh, I wanna give a big shout out to all my fans out there, uh, all my dance fam across the entire world. Thank you guys for watching, supporting, listening, sharing, commenting, all of that good stuff. And a very, very big shout out to all my dance fam out there in India. Again, you guys are amazing. You guys are true supporters. You are my true day ones. I appreciate you guys so much. So shout out to all my dance fam in India. All right, so now, so for today's video, I am so super hyped and pumped that World of Dance is officially coming back, finally, after all this time, May 26th. That's right, World of Dance season four is coming back this month, May 26th, and I am pumped. So for today's video, I am making a reaction video just to the to the teaser. Um, so before I jump into the the teaser reaction videos, I just want to talk about some of the some of the contestants that they've listed. They dropped the list of contestants uh, for this season, and there are a few minor tweaks that I also want to talk about that they made to the competition. So um, one of the tweaks that they made to the competition is that now the contestants no longer go to a producer's round they go straight to the competition like that is the craziest thing ever so all of the the list of names that i'm about to read um they basically skipped the producer's round and went straight to the the judges round to the actual competition and they had no clue that that was going to happen to them so that was one minor tweak that they made the second tweak that they made is now they have a callback vote session so now they can vote on who they want to call back at least the judges do which i think is kind of cool like yeah and i figured that would happen because i mean that's like all of these tv shows kind of work like that anytime there's a competition and they mess something up they'd be like oh man we should have kept them on and uh that's so that's that's always just what happens um so they're making that adjustment because they're starting to see the effects of that um and i respect jennifer lopez for recognizing that and fixing that flaw the one flaw that I'm, I'm waiting on her to actually get to is how incredibly hard this show is to win as a solo act but i digress anyway the last <laughs> the last uh the last tweak that they made was that now the contestants no, are no longer responsible for for picking the people that they go against so now the judges actually pick who the groups will go against and i think that's kind of cool thing you know uh, I, I think it's fair um to, I, honestly if i went on that show i wouldn't want to be responsible for picking the group that i went up against i just kind of would love to like chill in the chill in the back and be like yo whoever they put me up against is it's all love love you this that and whatever i feel like if i had to choose it would it would immediately cause some discourse between me and other dance fam that i have no intentions on doing it's just you know the way the show is you know you do it because you have to because it's probably contractual honestly but yeah so those are the three major or minor tweaks whichever way you want to take it um that they made to the show um i think those are cool tweaks so as far as the contestants go i'm pumped there are 34 contestants now i could be very boring right now and read off every single last contestant and tell you about each and every last one of them but i'm not gonna do that i no one wants to hear me read off a list instead i'm gonna put it right here Okay, hopefully that was enough time for you to read it. If you don't, just rewind. It's YouTube. I mean, whatever. It's a video. Do what you have to in order to see this list of contestants. So, I want to talk about the groups to watch out for. And I'm going to save my favorite group for the last. Um, so, I really want to talk about more so of the upper division. The upper division is, is it's okay. It's got some great heavy hitters in the upper division. Um, but the, the truth of the matter is, the junior division is way hotter than the upper division. So, chances are, we may see another kids group win. But, let me talk about the upper division. The upper division teams to watch 
I'm gonna talk about uh, you peeps. They're my they're my upper level uh, pick for the uppers. You know the adults. You peeps is basically V peeps but adults. And if you guys remember the V peeps, V peeps were crazy. Matter of fact, insert a clip right now of V peeps. Okay, so after seeing that, <laughs> like, yo, can you imagine what the adults will do? So these are the U peeps, which is basically the adult version of the V peeps, which is going to be sick. So th those, that's my one and only pick, really, for the upper level division. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any any picks other than them for the upper division. At least not not now. It's too early for me to know. And then a lot of these contestants too, I also didn't didn't really recognize. However, n the junior division. Let's get into the junior division. So, the junior division. Cruise to watch. So, the junior division. Cruise to watch. Starting out number 1, Break Ninjas. Break Ninjas are the kids version of uh of s oh, supreme soul i'm sorry supreme soul so getting into the junior division the junior division teams to watch i want to talk about is break ninjas break ninjas are basically the kids version of supreme soul and i don't know if you guys remember supreme so uh, of super crew <laughs> run it back Okay, getting into the junior division. The junior division team to watch. Number one, starting out for me, is Break Ninjas. Break Ninjas is basically the kids' version of Super Crew. Like these kids trained under Super Crew. And I don't know if you how familiar you guys are with Super Crew, but Super Crew is basically they almost won America's Best Dance Crew. Almost. Almost doesn't count, but they were still freaking phenomenal. Like, I think they got caught in the season with the Jabberwockies or something like that. One of those seasons where it was like, okay, you know, if you lost, then like how hands in the air, like, <laughs> you know, kind of deal. But Su Su Super Crew was amazing. Super Crew was a b-boy crew uh, that was like straight hardcore hip-hop b-boys like and i love that so much because to me that is the foundation of hip-hop that is real hip-hop like that's where it all started everything stems from there basically it started with breaking into locking into some of the other genres that that's kind of evolved in into it and it's not so much of what i would consider like jazz hop because it's, it's kind of like jazzy with the staccatos and sharp and you know sharp movements and stuff like that but anyway um so break ninjas are the team to watch for the junior division starting out they're not my number one i'm i'm saying they're I'm saying them first because i want to say my number one pick last so um that would be break ninjas and so here is my my top pick for right now and i'm sure this is this comes to no surprise to anyone but kita the great and bailey yo like these are by far the most notable uh dancers that they have contestants that they'll have on this season everyone else is kind of a no-name in comparison to them right now they are the hotness they they are leading the trends right now that you see on TikTok and all of that all of those crazy videos and stuff like that they, they are the ones basically creating and molding that genre so it's almost like it's almost like they're making hip-hop as they go right now which is like how do you beat people who basically define hip-hop themselves <laughs> but anyway uh kita the great is dope like by himself individually kita actually won so you think you can dance season 14 he was crazy he was uh his his dance partner was fiction um everybody should know who fiction is if you don't put the clip right here <laughs> That's 
fiction. So, and if that was fiction, this is Kita. Okay, so Kita is freaking phenomenal. And not only that, Kita is also an amazing choreographer. Like, dude is in his kitchen just making up crazy stuff. And you'll, like, find yourself watching 20 minutes of some dude dancing in his kitchen. But it's because the choreography is just so good. Um, he's creative. His body control is out out of this world it's insane the amount of muscle control this guy has and that's not to say that Bailey doesn't have it because she has it just as much as he does which is insane like not to bag on uh, female hip-hop dancers but you find that most women don't have the muscle the muscle mass to hit those ticks the way that men can typically so Bailey is right there with Kita in every movement and every step of the way now she hasn't won any dance competitions that I know of uh, but she's also just a very popping dancer right now on social media uh, so right now they to me they have the strongest strongest you know chance at winning would be Kita and Bailey um, and that's just because I know them it's very early on in the competition it's just it hasn't even begun yet but those are the contestants those are my top picks my top picks again are Kita and Bailey and the Break Ninjas and honestly those are two those are two kids so I mean, two kid junior division winners. So in my book, I think the junior division is going to be insane. Like we're going to basically be watching World of Dance to watch these kids dance because that's what it is. But um, anyway, yeah, I mean, you peeps, they'll, they'll, they'll get with them, definitely. But anyway, let's jump into the teaser reaction video. Let's go. Teaser reaction. Ooh, oh, I love the Latino groups. Look at this kid. Ah, uh, you know Sweet. So they're not they're not giving us a whole lot to to go off of uh, off of off of that. But you know what? I already gave you guys the rundown on how excited I am for this season of World of Dance. Expect so many more reaction videos. Expect all the the talk, all the chatter about World of Dance in the coming videos. Uh, I can't wait, India dance fam shout out to you guys for watching it with me i really wish the kings or you know uh the unbeatables was on this show look listen if the unbeatables were on world of dance it would just be it would be over for everyone everyone so the unbeatables if you're listening to this you got one more competition to smash and that is world of dance America's Got Talent was was great, but if you really want the respect, not that you guys don't have it anyway, because y'all got, I mean, come on, y'all want America's Got Got Talent, like it was easy, like nothing. This is another TV show for you guys to win. But anyway, shout out to all you guys. Thanks again for watching, Dance Fam. Ah, maybe one day we'll get to meet. You know, shout out to everybody out there. Um, and then I got some more stuff coming for y'all. So I'm really looking forward to these next coming weeks. I'm really looking forward to May 26th. I'm hype about the show and I'm hype to bring you guys more content. So yeah, all right, peace out. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Press the button.